This is another video in my series on CIS fuel injection. You know, at, at, at the time of the filming of this video, it's 2014, all these systems are at least 20 years old. That's right. <laughs> you go all the way back into about 1976-77 when uh, Bosch introduced the CIS fuel injection system into the Mercedes-Benz line and right up to about 1992 and maybe 93 on one or two models. And there's a lot of issues because of age, okay? We're, we're talking about age, and when you talk about anything that's 20 years or older, in fact, I found that it seems like 18 years is the magic uh, time when plastic and rubber parts start to accelerate uh, their wear and failure. So, and as these CIS fuel injection systems evolved, they had more and more rubber hoses. And these rubber hoses were used for things like cold start injection. They were used for breathing. They were used for idle. A lot of them, you know, the idle speed control system used the rubber hoses. And you're looking at the intake manifold off a 1990 300SL. This is the M104 six-cylinder engine. And there are a ton, uh, if I can say that, of rubber hoses sitting in and around the fuel distributor on the intake manifold. And, and let me tell you, if you have to work on one of these systems, uh, plan on replacing these rubber parts. I'm going to show you why. Because with age comes guess what? The rubber becomes hardened and in some cases very brittle. Uh, once again, one factor is age, but the other more important factor is heat. So this is the thing you're going to have to, to watch out for. The closer these rubber parts are to the engine, particularly the cylinder head where there's a lot of heat, the more brittle they will become. So if you think you're just going to remove one of these hoses when you're doing repair work or service on your fuel injection system, be prepared for this. They will literally just break off. See that? And, and break into little pieces. It's so hard, I can't even squeeze it. Now, if I come to this end, this end is a little bit further away. It's not quite as hard, but once again, this is right up against the head where the manifold bolts to the side of it. Um, let me show you another thing that happens is the rubber parts, when they do harden, they will expand. Look at, this is the original part. It's very hard. Now, this, is, this sits a little bit further away from the cylinder head. So it's not rock hard like the other parts, but notice this is the old part. Here's the new part. Look at the difference in the size of the holes. The cold start injector fits in here, and there's another fitting for another hose that goes in here. So you have to watch for leaks, and you say, well, why are leaks uh, a problem? Well, if you have any air leaks in the system, your engine is not going to run properly. It'll be very hard to tune. So if you're having issues with your... CIS fuel injection not being able to get it to idle properly and you've replaced a number of expensive parts, be sure and check out all these rubber hoses. Look at this one. This one fits right in here like this. Look at how hard this is. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a new one. Here, look at, I can't even squeeze that. I, I am literally pushing as hard as I can on these two ends here. Now, if I go to this end, you'll see that it's cracked. It's also hardened right there. Look at the crack there. See those cracks? Now, you might not be able to even see these when everything is bolted onto the intake manifold. That's why you have to be uh, careful to inspect all these. It's really critical. And when, when they're pushed on like this, even though there's clamps, because the rubber has hardened and expanded, they, aren't, they, they can be loose. They can literally be loose on the fittings. This one's not too bad, but some of them will, will fall off. And the clamp is not doing anything. You can see that's so hard. The clamp is not doing anything. And it's not just hoses. Look at these rubber mounts. These are the rubber mounts for the air filter housing. Now look at this one. See how much that flexes? That's a new one I just installed. Look at this old one. It won't even move. Now you get further away from the engine, the ones here in the back, are a little bit softer, but not much. They're also very hardened. So these parts are gonna to have to be replaced too. 
So my admonition to you as you watch this video, if you have any work that you're going to do on your CIS fuel injection, be sure and inspect all these rubber hoses and replace them if they're hard and brittle. And if you're having problems tuning this system, this is one thing you're going to want to check right away.